Oh no! Oh no, I forgot to hit the microphone button. Oh boy. That's a... Oh, that's the button I gotta get used to hitting. That's the button I gotta get used to hitting. How's everybody doing today? We back! We back! Finally, back fucking doing old-timey racism crimes, I guess. Fucking, it's been a hot minute, I know. Oh, these last few weeks have been rough between dead internet, being sick, and all around having fun with midterms. How's everyone doing tonight? How's everyone doing tonight? Hmm. Welcome back to Trash Caps. Oh no, the sexism is coming as well. Don't worry. We're gonna, we're gonna just, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna find, we're gonna find women and we're gonna just break them in half with our cars. I know this has a VR version, and as soon as I get my, as soon as I get access to a, to a, to a, to a VR headset, which will probably be in April, I'm gonna be playing some of this. Don't worry. Okay. Resume. Trying to remember what the fuck we were doing, because I don't know. So we're doing... What, what were we doing? What were we doing? I don't remember. Oh yes, it was a new case! Ah, yes, that's the thing we want to start a new day on, a new stream. No! Oh, Jesus. Hmm, yes, hmm, ah, yes, this is a, this is a dead body indeed, hmm, what, let me use my magic force powers, hmm, yes, I'm using the Jedi mind trick, this is not the murder scene you're looking for, alright, kiss the blood, kiss the blood, BD, okay, neat, <laughs> she, was she holding a doobie, oh no, it's a business card, Why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Remember, kids, getting murdered ain't hard if you have a library card. <laughs> this is not the murder scene you were looking for. All right. Um, about her face. God, with, the, with that fucking wound on her neck, I have to make him turn the head, and the head just pops off. A great deal of force. Yeah, but the thing is, I won't have a, a proper VR headset, like a little forty-dollar generico one. Like, I'd rather just, I'd rather just drop the money and and buy a real one, you know. Another wedding ring. Jesus! No skin under the fingernails. He just fucking ripped the skin, Rusty. He just ripped her fucking. Oh my god, that's her fucking bone under there. Jesus Christ. Anything else? No? Okay. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. You, you, you want to keep that going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the ammo. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. To be fair, there was a bit of an issue in this time period where newspapers are a little bit too detailed. Medical experience. Four women. All murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us. Nervous. That's true. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force. What size was the shoe? Because if it's another size eight, then this is getting to be a fatal. fucking problem. Clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. See, and that's part of the reason why I don't want to get a, a generico headset because they won't be able to do like 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 Matt says. Even HD isn't good enough, so I hate to imagine what standard definition is. You know. May as well follow the trail. Oh, good. Uh, first we should probably look around the scene. Aha! A sock. The most. She took a blow to the head like the others. She was probably unconscious when strangled. Ah, uh, yes. 
Tell me your secrets, little sock. No, nah, no secrets in the sock. Damn. One of these days, I'll find one of this. I'll find one of those top magic talking socks. Tissue. A box of tissues. Probably nothing to do with it. All right. Is there anything? Anything here? No. Whoa! 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 This is just... Hey, Rusty! I found your lunch! Alright, so I guess follow the blood. Let's follow the yellow blood road. Follow the yellow blood road. Follow the, follow the... Hey! That's a hat. Antonia. Eh, no. Phelps, hold it steady. Antonia. Huh. Same as the library card. Interesting. It's all up the fucking blood wall, too. Jesus. Uh. Follow the yellow blood road. Follow the yellow blood road. Follow the follow the follow the follow the follow the yellow blood road. Okay, this is getting. Aha! Yes, this cup. This is what we came for now. to the scene, plus the bloodstains. No way is this coincidence. I'm watching you, Nazowski. Always watching. Jesus Christ. So, what the fuck? Did the fucking murderer just fucking... Was he just dragging her in, like, a fucking bloody sack? Just leaking? He's like, okay, let's, uh, let's put the shoe in the trash, okay? Just, like, like a fucking gross-out fucking Santa Claus or Easter Bunny? Just got a fucking dripping sack behind him. Area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Aha! Perfect. A thing to kill mosquitoes. Because this is what was used to kill the victim. A d what is this? Her house key? House keys strung up like bait on a hook. Okay, so yeah, so we are act- we might actually be dealing with the fucking Black Dahlia here. This is the kind of shit the Black Dahlia wound up doing eventually. Like, he- he- he just was not getting caught, and eventually he just got bored and started sending messages. That's got to be a code, or a cipher. So it looks like dice. Two, five, three. Like, oh god, LAPD, you're fucking useless, okay? Look, here's a hint. Here's a hint, you dumbasses. I swear, are you going straight to hell? I thought Rusty was drinking then. I was like, Rusty! A woman is dead! Because it's history, and I know a lot about history. Pigeons! Friendly pigeon. He dragged her through a fucking pigeon coop. Are you kidding me? Mrs. A. Mald Maldonado. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? Yeah, it definitely feels like he just walked, like just dragged her around in a fucking bloody sack, just yep. dripping everywhere. There you go, Phelps. Got a new ammo. I told you. Yeah. That or that or we just haven't caught him and he's getting bored. Emerald and gold plated. This was precious to her. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. No. This is getting ridiculous now. This is this is a suspicious amount of blood. No, you're not running through. You're not running through a pigeon coop after losing this much blood. This is this is a frankly ridiculous amount of blood. And there's the ring. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Yeah, so so yeah, so the ring the ring was pulled off post mortem, so she would have had to be dead first. That is that that is a paint bucket full of blood.
He just fucking drained all her blood. <laughs> he just drained all of her blood. And just... Yeah, just grabbed a paintbrush. Just like, alright, let's go, let's have fun. Time to... Time to have a fucking arts and crafts session. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Fucking decorating his fucking home. It's a fucking pink bucket of blood. Oh, and here's her handbag. Just open it up and inside, like, hello, yes, I am the Black Dahlia. Please find me, you fucking moron. Son of a bitch, once her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Dude, she was dead when her ring was taken off. All of this shit was done after the fact by the killer because he's just like the real life Black Dahlia killer in that, in that he got bored that he wasn't getting caught. So he started fucking with the police. Like, and to the point where he still didn't get caught, and they reckoned that he either was caught for a lesser offense and never identified, or died, or died just a free man. Oh, I forgot I had this really cool little Batmobile. Oh my god. Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. Alright, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Rusty! Uh, Rusty, Rusty this is dumb. You, Rusty, you're being dumb now. Rusty doesn't Rusty doesn't even care about solving the case. He just was like, you know, I want to go home and get drunk. I don't even care about solving the case anymore. Jesus Christ, Rusty. Like, a, a fucking jilted lover isn't going to string... Isn't going to string his fucking wife up and paint and paint the fucking hallway with her blood. Yeah, he must have used a clamp. Yeah, like, the ring must have been... The ring must have been on there super great. And then, so he just, like, grabbed, like, pliers or something and went... Boom! Pizorro's Parsons Boarding House. What? Wait just a moment. LAPD, open up! Open up, ma'am! <laughs> She's got a weapon! Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective <laughs> Yeah, that's basically the case. Does Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara LaPente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so. Yes, there is. We've got we got big problems right now. Discuss this. Of course. Follow me through to And Brutalite, your 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 message got grabbed by the auto mod, but your message got grabbed by the auto mod, but yes, that is what they're telling us happened. He just had a big old bucket of big old bucket of blood. I really need to get moderators in here. I really need to have moderators so they can just hit that button. Hello, ma'am. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Did you kill her? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. She can't be dead. And I'm, I'm hang, I'm, I've got her, I've got her hung up by her, by her toes in my basement. We'll be back shortly. She can't be dead uh, yet. I reckon she's got at least four more hours before she bleeds out. Maybe he put a lid on the bucket. I don't know. Maybe it's the 1940s and he held the and he kept the blood in the bucket through the sheer power of will and racism. I don't know. Oh, someone was packing. Someone's turned the place over. So, oh, no, sorry, someone was unpacking. The smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. It's a fucking, like, pipe out there. No, I feel no windows, Phelps. windows are a structural weakness, we get it. It's a fucking, what the hell is this? 
a fucking staff. So someone broke in using this thing instead Wait, no, it's a part of a it's a part of a wrought iron fence. It's a part of a wrought iron fence. I don't see any of those around here, so okay, we just gotta keep an eye out for for a fence and see if there's any missing missing bars. No, it wasn't. The window was broken from outside. There's glass. There's glass on the floor. Wait. There's glass on both sides. Yeah. Huh. How'd that happen? How'd that happen? Glass out here and glass in, in here. If he was smashing to get in, then... Unless he smashed it again while getting out, but that... That's weird. That's weird. Uh, oh, hey, Miss Maldonado. Antonia, further to my previous correspondence of August 7th, I am writing to inform you that your petition for the Superior Court of the State of California has been accepted and the court date is scheduled. Your case, docket number 98765, will be heard on September 17th. Glass looked like it was bent outwards. But there's glass on both sides. I am told that your husband, Angel Christopher Maldonado, residing at 3041330 on North Hill Street, Los Angeles, California, has been served with the official papers, is on notice to appear at the Central District Court in the above date. Though it is not essential, and may many women in your position choose not to do so, I would advise you to also appear at the Central District Court on the scheduled date. In my experience, a woman's plaintiff's presence in cases like this can do much to influence proceedings. And if your husband is, does not appear on September 17th, which you have told me is likely, then it can only help our chances. Yours sincerely, Frederick D. Tattersall, LLBJD. Maybe? I, I don't know, like, it's hard, I can't, I can't tell which side it was broken from. I can't tell what side is broken from, there's glass on both sides. Oh, hey. It's a picture frame. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. She might. Well, maybe she took it off. You don't know. Like, why does that stand out to you? Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Unless there's something out here. Hmm. No, I don't, I don't think I don't think there's anything else. I don't see any wrought iron fences either, so there's no. Yeah, no. So that fence, someone brought that with them. Someone brought that with them from wherever wherever they were starting from. So, ooh boy. Okay, let's speak to uh, let's speak to Grandma again. See if she can tell us about some stuff. Excuse me, Grandma. Grandma, I need you to tell me some stuff. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. Did you kill him? I found this gun! <laughs> okay, yeah, tell me about the, the suspects. Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was so Ironic name. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. I think you kind of are, and Rusty. I'm going to trust. <laughs> I'm trusting you, Wazowski. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? I mean, this woman, I don't think she has any reason to lie. He was cruel to her. Very cruel. She was a good girl. Little on the religious side. Ah! Aha! An atheist! By 1940s logic, that means you're a Satanist and possibly a homosexual. Take her to the gas chamber, Rusty. We found our killer. Ah, oh, the 40s were a magical time. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around 9. Do you know where she went? No. I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. I don't trust you. That sounds sketch as fuck. No! A nosy old hag like you knows everything. Jesus! Fuck Phelps! Where did she go? Nosy old hag! 
She's been drinking quite a lot. Nosy old hag Phelps, really? Right bar. So like oh, hey, I found this. I found, I found I've, I've seen a place like that. The body. Uh, yes, Rusty, you've probably been there a lot, yes? Phelps, I know every single bar in this town. Let me hit it. Oh my god, Phelps, like, fucking, like, Phelps is normally so respectful. Where the fuck did that come from? That can't be true. Oh, jeez, I... Is that another doubt? No, that can't be true. You're lying to me! economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking There's a broken about. fucking window upstairs, girl. Like... So Antonia lost what are you talking about, Mad? Bar to Jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. Really? It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. That you did someone broke in a really? Your reputation is based around something that you have zero control over, you fucking Antonia moron? And her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. We didn't find that at the scene. That's about all of her jewelry. You lie! What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. You lie to me! In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. Don't make me send you to the gas chamber, young lady! He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Wooden jewelry box. Thanks, You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. I I don't think I've seen I don't think I've seen a boarding house. I think I yeah no I don't think they exist anymore. I don't I honestly don't think they exist anymore. Uh, all right, into the Batmobile. Rusty, call the police. Get that old woman in the chamber. All right, let's check out the bar. Downtown Bar and Grill. God, these fucking car doors. Why don't normal car doors? And I thought I was coming on strong with the Jesus Christ, Sometimes Rusty. You have to be firm to get the information you need. Rusty is rubbing off on him. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alley. Sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times. Really, Rusty? That's the equivalent of, oh, she deserved it from what she was wearing. What the fuck, Rusty? I don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. Dickhead. If we survive this, it's gonna be a miracle. Think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three. So I've done the rest of the husband's suicide doors are great. Dude, they're, dude, I don't, I don't, why are they really called suicide doors? Do they really? But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Well. Well. Why, why are they called suicide doors? I, I, I don't know why they stop you. I, I, I'm not super up on cars, I'm gonna admit. They look so cool, though. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help hey, you? Hey, buddy. You work the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Temp guy? A woman in here last night, 21 years old. Oh, God. Wait. It's not the temp guy from the other case, is it? Did that guy shows up again? She was murdered last night. She got killed to death. Oh shit! Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. I wonder because if they, if it's the temp guy from the other bar, that makes two murders that he was near. She was so hammered last night. She left a letter on the bar. You got it for us. All right. 
At least this guy's being up front. Where's that goddamn bracelet? Oh, hey, it's the what was supposed to be in the envelope. Oh, it's a subpoena for his divorce. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Whereas Antonia Maldonado did on the 8th day of August 1947 prefer her petition to that she might be divorced from the bonds of matrimony entered into you, Angel Maldonado. We therefore do command that Angel Maldonado, the said defendant, that setting aside all other business and excuses whatsoever, you be and appear in your proper person at the Central District Court of the Superior Court in the State of California on Wednesday, the 17th day of September 1947, next to answer the position of divorce from the bonds of matrimony on the grounds of cruelty brought by said Antonia Maldonado, and to show cause, if you have any, why the said plaintiff Antonia Maldonado, your wife, should not be divorced from the bonds of matrimony. Witness Hon Earl Brantham, judge of our court of California, say the 11th day of August in the year of our Lord, 1947. Well. Well. Neat. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess with modern day locks, though, that wouldn't be that big of a problem. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. Okay. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't Inter say for sure. Hey, Honda. It eh, goes pretty well. Goes pretty well. We haven't fucked up yet. Can't say for sure. Are you, are you fucking with me right now? Are you fucking with me? Well, I don't have evidence, so I guess I just gotta... F Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested. I'll stop bringing over ice. Don't make me bring the immigration boys over. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed This is the second case in a row that there's been a temp there's been a temp guy who's been in the same bar as the victim. And I'm hoping it's not the temp guy from the other case cuz then it gets really convenient said she was going to serve the papers on the husband said that would take the smile off his face if you ask me she was scared and the drink was for dutch courage oh man it's my favorite kind of courage he's blinking a lot Wait, what? Persona? You got motherfuckers made me think I didn't change the thing. God damn it. Is it is this a doubt? Is this a doubt or a because he's blinking a lot. I'll trust him. She attracted There we go, okay. An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off though. Hey. That's been a big help. This guy's been pretty, pretty truthful to me. Hey, get the guy, will you? Don't worry, I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him on the way into the gas chamber. A broad nine, have white feet. Okay, thank you. We gotta get the shoe sizes of every man. Gotta get every man's shoe size. Okay, we gotta go to the fruit market across the street. I don't see a fruit market. Do you guys see? Oh, wait, here's a fruit market. LAPD! <laughs> Hang on, I want to die in front of traffic. LAPD! On the ground! <laughs> say whatever you want about the game, but the voice acting. Wait, about what game? About Persona or about this one? LAPD! I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't purple talk. You know, I'm not a drunk, you're a drunk. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Don't worry, I got it. And he just picks up a brick and he hucks it at the window. Ah, oh, alright, so I guess we gotta go find that uh, Maldonado. 
Seriously, like, like, fucking, I just want Phelps to just pick up a brick and just, like, oh, one of those crates, just hurl it through the window and dive in. What you say about me? Alright. Let's get in here. Let's go, let's go beat up the husband. Let's go beat up the husband. No, no, uh, boo, 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 boo. Get in, Rusty! How about we drop in on the husband instead? Zoom, zoom! See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. We just finished the bar, though. We just, we just finished the bar. Or did I miss something there? Very concerned. Oh! Yeah. You dingus, you're not, you're driving without a license plate! You're going to prison. Did I forget something in the bar? Maybe I missed something? <laughs> Jesus Christ, alright. No, it's fine, Rusty. We gotta get to the bar, it's happy hour. <laughs> Got him! Got him! They deserve it. Stop, we're here. Alright. Hey, Nanako, what's up? No wonder I can't keep up. What? What, what, what do you mean? What, what, do you, what do you mean, Nanako? I'm confused. There's something here. Oh, oh, it was the phone out of order. The phone is out of order. What? Oh, I missed the thing! Just making deliveries. From where? Just pick Fruit Market across the street. Oh! Fruit Market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. Aha, that's racism. Ha 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 ha. Well, that was weird. That was weirdly specific. About 4.30 a.m.? I mean, I'm, I'm in Florida. I'm on, like, Eastern Time, so... Like this is this is this is this is this is my time here. So you know it's like oh, all right. Okay, now it's crossed off. So maybe now I can go to the market. I think it's because I did I needed to trigger the fruit the fruit guy. We're here now. Um, so they open now? Question mark? No, okay, they're still not open even though I just triggered that guy. So I guess I literally I just had to That was dumb. That was dumb. Alright. No Oh, do you want the death I'll give you the fucking Oh, okay. I guess I guess they, they made that guy's made of adamantium. That guy's made of adamantium, I guess. Out of my way! Just go easy, Phelps. No. This car is very, very heavy on the brakes. Holy Christ! It's very fast, but the but the tra there's no traction on the tires. Like you hit the brakes and things just go fucking everywhere. Oh god! Don't worry, it's fine. The government will pay for it. Oh, oh thankfully, this car is also built like a fucking tank. All right. Where so Maldonado residence? Looking for three o four. Okay, so floor number three. 
then this is, uh, this is before before you had elevators in every building. So, oh boy. This could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. What, because he's Latino? Surprise. Really? Rust, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Why? What was with the gun? Why is this happening? What the fuck? Ow! You dingus! Ow, stop it. Just... Get down. On. The... Ground. Back. Back. There you go, Rusty. Then we both lost our hats. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Jesus. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. Why? You just storm in with a gun. You kicked the fucking door down. Call for some backup, Finbar. Jesus. All right. Okay, then. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. The wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I could kill my own wife? Well, I mean, obviously, otherwise, I, we'd, have a re we'd have to have a really good reason to be kicking down the door with guns out, wouldn't we? We should get the whole place going over, and then talk to the neighbor. Rusty is eternal. Rusty is eternal. Rusty was part of the police department before the police department existed. I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Hello! LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So we just had to be, we had just had to kill your neighbors. You want to tell me something? You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. All right. Thanks, friend. Fucking Hello, you want to tell me about some people? No good. There's nobody here. No, answer the door, fuckos. I'm going to kick it down. Hello? Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. But what? But LAPD. then why did you jump at the door like that? We could have shot you and been totally fine. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. But why? What? What? But why though? Why jump out with the fucking moon mask on? <laughs> Goodbye, moon man. <laughs> Jesus. Rusty, pick up your hat, you fucking savage. Don't think this is anything. Alright, so what do we got here? Hey, it's the fruit shop. Just picked fruit market. This is probably why it was closed. It's full of. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. It's full of cerveza. Oh boy, Prohib is is prohibition still a thing? Oh wait, no, it's not. But it still means that. Hey. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. What's up? I, I mean, I I imagine illegal alcohol sales is still illegal. Oh, that's a pretty big... This will take some explaining. Oh, yeah, no, that's... You're gonna have to explain that, fucko. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. Got an alibi, let's go. We just... Rusty, we just got done ta talking to the neighbors. There's nothing. Sounds like there's a fucking bomb going in here. Nothing here. Am I missing something? Am 
I must be missing something. This is like, like, this says, oh, check the neighbors, fucko! But I checked with all the neighbors and... Oh wait, there's one more neighbor. Hello? Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... You I sound did. very smug. I had the door open a crack. You, you sound very Mr. smug Maldonado about this. This makes me doubt you a little bit. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. All right, so he has no alibi. I'm call that when a nosy old hag too, Phelps. Ah, yes. Right now, Finbar. God, what, fuck! They're just go. They're just going off on each other. Jeez, um. Uh, is there anything else here? I don't think there is. Yeah, no, this place is crossed off. We're done with it. So I guess that means we should go back to the fruit market and see what happened. Oh, shit. Why can't we, like, check people on, like, the downstairs? Be like, hey, did you hear anything, like, from above you? Like, gunshots? Or the sound of someone getting stabbed? Any, any of those? I don't want to get a new car as well. Map. Any cars? Any cars I can grab? It's a bunch of them over here. Let's let's yeah, let's just set one for there, and let's, let's let's go get it. Let's see what else we got. We got the we had the Atari. We got a Batmobile. Let's see what else we can grab a hold of. Excuse me. Hello, Central. Get me R and I. One two four seven. How can I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? No, I'll get to it when I get to it. Oh no, that's not good. Oh! Hey, thank you for the subscription, Matty R. <laughs> thank you for that. I'm away. Oh, fuck you. I'm gonna come at you again. Why can I do this now? And we're back. <laughs> Why is that? Why am I able to do that now? Hey, here's your twin. We're back. What the fuck? I haven't been able to do that this entire game, but now I can do it to anyone I fucking want. We're back. Whap. We're back. Yeah, fuck you. Why is that a thing I can do now? <laughs> can you drive to this one? Like, I've been like every time I've ra run into a civilian in the past in this game, I've just like phased through the. They've taken a step back. Now I can just fucking push him to the ground. Did I level up Phelps's bitch slapping technique? <laughs> God damn it! Uh, all right. Hey, you got, a, you got a cool star. Oh, jeez, that was that was funny. I don't, I don't, I don't care who you are. That was funny. All right, what car we got in here? Bidoop. Whoa! What the fuck is this? What in the actual fuck is this? Ford H-Boy. I have never heard of this car. I have never heard of this car. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a long fucking drive. Another letter? Yeah, it's a boat on wheels! 
letters, Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine from him. Now we sent another. I really hate this buck, this Black Dahlia guy. You seen the body? Fucking case. Like, oh my god, this thing looks so dumb. This thing looks so dumb. It's like, it's like something like a fucking, like a fucking teenager in fucking auto shop would put together for like his fucking end of year project or something. Like, it, it looks like it's gonna fall apart at any moment. What the actual fuck? Oh, hey. Alright. Alright, Rusty, I need you to drive this. This is a long ass drive. You know the way. You can drive. I, yeah, it does, it does actually drive pretty well, I'll say that. It does drive, it does drive decently well. But it, it looks awful. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It looks awful. Oh, and it looks so weird in the fucking LAPD spot. Rusty's just... Alright. Where do... How do I go downstairs? Where's the stair... Where's the stairs? There's the stairs. Oh my god, Phelps, please, go faster. I got the jitters again. All right, what we got? Boys, top of the morning to you, Chief. How are you doing today? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. Oh, by the grace of God, it won't. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours, regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then okay. put to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem. And yeah, this is something the Dahlia would do. Take a look. Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Ah, uh, yes, I wondered what that fruity smell was. I have changed my mind. You would not give a square deal. Fuck you, BD Tex. Okay. Heap upon my soul by virtue of this curse. He's not gonna read the whole thing? Okay. Heap upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. Ill deeds then thou be damned, beholding good. Both infinite as is the universe, and thou and thy self-torturing so solitude, an awful image of calm power. Though now thou sittest, let the hour come when thou must appear to be. That which thou art internally. And after many a false and fruitless crime, scorn track thy lagging fall through boundless space and time. That's why we called you. What the fuck? Original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Yeah. Shelley. Sure, I knew that. How, wait, how did you not know that? You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Oh sure, god, fucking Shelly! Fucking Shelly! The fucking, uh, the fucking uh, cuck character. husband the of the writer of Frankenstein! The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure. Is no, 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 no. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the word. Like that, I'm pretty sure that pit, that poem was written by by the male Shelley, whose first name I forget. What's happening with the Maldonado? And his main claim to fame is that he was the husband of Mary Shelley, who routinely had extramarital sex that he was aware of, but he was too much of a pussy to deal with it. To to deal with it, and then he wound up drowning. Uh. He wound up drowning near Wales in an overturned fishing boat, and everyone, everyone at the time, like, like it's it's fishy as fuck, but nobody ever looked into it. So there's a theory going around that someone did him in, but no one cared enough to fucking investigate. Like seriously, like it's 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 literally the um. Like the romantic of all the romantic, uh, if he had if he had dealt with it, it would have been a Finn Park case. Uh, okay, it's he's of all the romantics, uh, Mary Shelley, Byron, 
uh, fucking all of, all of those dumb motherfuckers. Uh, he was the one that he was the one that they hung out with. Improved your attitude. Angel? Who just had the money. He had money. And that's why they hung out with him. Because because he was richer than the rest of them. Not by much, but he was. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? But otherwise, he was a fucking loser. She didn't stay long. You're lying to me, you fuck! You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. No, I got. I you I was at home. No, you weren't. I got a. No, your brother's got a. Got a vested interest in keeping you alive. We have Fuck you. Who confirms that you were arguing? That your wife ran out? That you followed her and didn't come back? I know this looks bad, but it's not. Are you calling your neighbor a liar? We argued, all right. But Women don't lie out, except when it benefits you. them. You jumped in a car on the corner. <laughs> Just like every other human being. Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car. It was a brown Ford coupe. <laughs> Imagine if he said it was a black Ford H boy. And and Phelps is just like, oh fuck. <laughs> you and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that, is that why you killed him? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Lies! I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. It doesn't matter if you accept a divorce or not. I've got the fucking divorce papers, you dumb cunt. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. It doesn't matter if you accept a divorce or not. It happens. Oh, Jesus. You dumbass. <laughs> she came in drunk out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me. But she left them at the bar. But she left them at the bar. I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. You smacked her shit up and she left That's and she then you followed. I see. Oh, and you've got tiny feet as well. Alright then. Hmm. It's a really lucky thing that every murder that's happened has been per perpetrated by people with the same size shoe. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. Uh, I'm gonna doubt him. Wait, hang on. Let me view my notebook. Let me double check. Personal effects. Key. I'm a, I'm gonna do a doubt. Looks like Damn it! somebody broke into a room and stole her things there too. Why'd you do it, Angel? What the hell are you talking about? I was home with Hippolito. We just proved you weren't, you stupid fuck! Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Fuck you! I mean, I can't prove otherwise, so doubt! Angel, I'm not gonna waste any more time on this. Give me something, or I'm gonna have you charged. I'm- I can get you killed without any evidence! He said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. Uh, oh wait, no, the- I used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. Really? Of this fruit market. Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. <laughs> one last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Hey, intuition point. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. All right. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. All right, Captain. Put, load him into the gas chamber, but don't hit the button yet. We're going to do a two for one. We got to make sure. Let's get the other guy from the fruit market. Put him in there. And then just hit the button.
end of the day, we've solved the issue. What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him. For it. Seriously. Uh, yeah, man. I can get you. I, yeah, just, um, when next time we do XCOM, let me know what you, let me know what you, what you, what character you want to be your, your guy, and we'll, we'll throw him in the training room. Though your, your main, the character, your, your main character still has to show up, because, oh boy, I did not expect the hero unit to take, so, to be so hard to get. Out of my way! Out of my way! Out of my way! Take a ranger. Alright then. Next, uh, next XCOM stream, just, uh, or, or if you want, just tell me, just tell me what, like, generally what you want it to look like. And I'll just do it before stream. On Thursday. Hey, it's you again! Man, I don't know why more people don't drive on the sidewalk. We should go out afterwards. Brr! Stop resisting! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! All right. Also, I, I'm gonna need. I, I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need a name. Gender and general appearance for your for your character, dude. <laughs> so I'm the... Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD. Detective <laughs> Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney. What can I do? Hi, Clem. You? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic. Sure, she came by last night. Why do you? Now that that's very descriptive, Phelps. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Mm, I, 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 I doubt. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, hey, no cornflakes! I sell the odd bottle on the side of the after- Old-timey product, product placement. I'm just trying to make a buck. Uh, what about contact with Victor? Young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Use the phone for a cab and then left. Okay. Uh, I don't really have any proof otherwise, but I'm a doubt. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado. Why are you lying to me, sure you I'm fuck? She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. Really? She back until last night. <laughs> What about her movements? Where did she go from here? What about she the motion of the ocean? Get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Okay. I'm willing to believe you on this one. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. Oh shit. She seemed to know the guy. Oh no. Mind if we look around. Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have I'm... rights. Clem? Shh. Clem, be quiet. This is the 1940s. Rights haven't been invented yet. <laughs> uh, alright. Cornflakes! Oh. oh, okay. I guess it... There's the investigation music. Ha! That's a lot of alcohol. No wonder he stays open late at night. Rusty, I believe I you've died and gone to heaven. Check through this stuff before we get back out. All right, Rusty, I'll leave you to do the taste test. Yep, there's the cerveza. And can I? Anything at more? I can no. Just play. Hey, here's more of that alcohol. That's... That's awfully suspicious. I cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. 
I, I honestly just assumed it was Cerveza because the texture is so low quality I can't read it and it came from a f fruit shop. That was that was that was why I called it Cerveza. I don't know what it actually is because the texture is too low quality. Oh, okay, I was on the other side of the room, but okay. So what are we? Oh, here? hey! This thing needs a combination. It was two five. This is not looking very good for that guy. Two, five, three. Oh, there, there's the ne there's the necklace and the charms. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll fucking do it. Wives, submit to your husbands and ask to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as church Christ is the head of the church. His body, for which is he is the same. Oh, no wonder she hated that fucking bracelet. No wonder. This fruit's gone. No wonder she hated that fucking bracelet. Because it had that fucking passage on it. Well, that, that looks really suspicious. What shoe size are you, motherfucker? Quick, to the boats! Or we can get into the shit, the shitty car Rusty brings. Okay. God damn it, get after him, Cole. Don't tell me what to do, Rusty. He's driving a fucking pickup truck. I'll try to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. God, are you drunk already? Hit him. Clean this asshole off the road. I will when he fucking. You should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Cole. You can't grab someone without evidence, Rusty, you dumbass. Oh, um, how is... Th Rusty, your car is crap. God damn it. Rusty, your car is so crap. If you want to be caught, why is he running? Rubber banding is so bad in this game. Come on, Rusty. For real. Just pop it! Burr! Rusty, you have a gun! Fucking shoot the tires! Fuck off! Fuck off! Is he. That's it. Is he done? We're done. Cut this motherfucker. Alright, out you come. Rust yeah, he can grab anyone without evidence, so just make up- make it up later. If, if, if he rests enough people, eventually he'll average out. What the f- Oh, that was the stoplight! I was like, what the fuck is that ding? It's like a stock si- it's like a stock sound effect from World of Warcraft. Oh, wait, it's the fucking stop sign. Outstanding job on this case. Oh my god, and he's just fucking taking from the- Rusty. I'll pay the fee and the personal visit myself and remind them that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Thank you. On your way. Rusty was just fucking helping himself to the fucking alcohol. Oh my god, Chief! What the fuck are you doing? Just like, oh, by the grace of God, I'll take some of this, I will. Call it a little skim off the top, eh? Jesus Christ. With a body on his doorstep, the DA may send Clem Feeney to the gas chamber, yep. Uh. Hey, back into Why World War Two. To the doggies, they're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? Who the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. Oh no! He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. 
You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you and he's, he's just right there that? listening to this. He's like, oh, bastards, you motherfuckers. Out of you three. Fat Juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? Jesus Christ, like, Phelps is right there and they're talking shit about him. Christ. That's, that's just mean. The White Shoe Slaying! Alright, what do we got? Oh, hey, she looks like she's having fun. And she's wearing white shoes, my god. Oh no, it's a spooky man. Hey ladies, get out of the road. Oh, she is fucking sloshed. She is fucking sloshed. All right. Good morning, gentlemen. I'm Top of the morning to you, Captain. Did you have a fun night tonight? Looks like you did with that fucking case of whiskey in injected into your bloodstream. Nice show we trial, and he'll be struck down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Jesus Christ. Yeah. The fresh business. Galloway and guys are, These guys are fucked. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. Jeez, just. Just like. <laughs> like, it's just like. Oh, we caught him. So he'll soon, he'll be just, he'll be dying. He'll be choking to death on fucking cyan, on fucking, uh, on fucking Zyklone B, laddies. Just fucking shove that Zyklone B right up his fucking face hole. Um, new car. Alright, Rusty, let's replace this piece of crap. A fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling Whoa, up. Whoa, what the yeah, hell? California's love of that, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up the sand wet, they'll always be killing you. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Except it's not, though. You gotta, you gotta arrest everyone you can, dog. Minnows make it the man, but you can't always hit home runs. Jeez. You, just gotta make runs. you know what? I think I, I'm think I'm starting to like Rusty's philosophy a little bit more now. Like fucking Phelps is that asshole overachiever. <laughs> the one who makes everyone look bad. Alright, where's this where's this new car? Uh directly ahead of me. Okay. Uh, where is it? In this building over here, the second building here. Why did it stop me so far away from it? <sighs> Alright then. Uh, where? Somewhere over the rainbow. Bitching car lies. Somewhere over the rainbow, I'm gonna get a bitch in motor vehicle. What the fuck is this? What the actual hell is this? It's a fucking hippie van. But before hippies existed, it's got a, it's got a fucking table in the back. It's got a fucking like fucking table in the back for entertaining. Going on road trips. Oh, this thing drives like ass. This thing drives like absolute ass. Alright, now we're finding another one. We're finding another one. Fuck this. Uh, this one. What the hell? I need to go over the case notes. Who designed this car and went, you know what? This is a good idea. It's fucking bug in here now. Who designed that and thought, you know what, this is a good car design? 
Alright, where is it? Where where am I? Car is directly behind me. Okay. There it is! Whoop! Do a flip! Yeah! Alright, what do we got? There we go! Probably not the best for during the rainstorms, but... Still! Cord 810 soft top. I don't know how to put the top up, though, so... Sorry, Cole. Where's the crime scene? Really far away. I- it's called the Scarab, I badmouth it and bugs attack. Yep. That'll do it. Alright. Well, we've unlocked it at least, and so now Rusty can just drive us- drive us the thing. Also, that is really, really close for comfort. That is really close for comfort. Holy crap. The Brown Derby! Detectives? Hey, buddy. Shouldn't we have a raincoat? Going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the Examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Jesus Not much Christ, Christ Rusty. To speak of, storm blew in around ten last night, and the rain washed most of it away. Ah, uh, yes, like the perfect murder during a rainstorm. Superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Jeez. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. But she's wearing clothes this time. Over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. So, yeah, this was pr this is probably not the same guy. Green silk dress is very distinctive. This is probably not the same guy. He's wearing all she's wearing all her clothes, no. except for a shoe. And no handbag or other. And also she's bags. been robbed. So, I mean, this is this is very much a different a different ML. Like same call same like method of kill, but different MO. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Yep. That'll do it. Nope, oh, fuck, didn't want to do that. She didn't have a ring. At least as far as I can tell. Yep, so no, no stolen ring this time. Yeah, this looks like it was just someone with the same taste in murder. Because she was drunk off her ass, probably. Yeah, no, there is nothing on this body. Five dollar bill. Hey man, five dollars is five dollars. Not gonna pocket that, Phelps, you fucking casual. Okay, tire tracks. Driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Okay. Not really much of this crime scene, is there? Oh. Cigarette? I doubt it. No, nothing. Okay. It's a beer bottle. Oh, wait, no, they're footprints. Okay, that are hovering half an inch off the ground. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Alright, so, I mean, other than that, I don't think there's anything else here. Not now, Phelps. I don't, I don't see anything to see. Yep, yeah, no, that's, I think that's it. Let's call it, let's call it in. Oh! Someone's coming to be our friend! I, I know he said the rain washed most of it away. I was hoping there was a little bit more. 
Who is this now? Hello, madam. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Okay. Detective Phelps, LAPD. What you got? I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. And I saw the entire thing. Did you see anyone around here last night? I'm the murderer. Last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Really? Hobo? Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary... So we're just going to blame this on the homeless yeah, now? Where we might find him. One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of... Oh no! I've been tricked! They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Alright, so we've got to we've gotta go abuse the homeless now. We've got to just go pin this murder on the homeless, call it a day. Don't worry, you're never gonna catch me. I'm just gonna pin it on the homeless, and then you know that's it. No one will look at no one will look any deeper than that. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. How can I help, detective? Tell me who killed him. On Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services. I like how she's just looking in a fucking phone book. Track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill. Just a moment, detective. Tell me where the homeless are. I want to go beat them. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Okay. All right, so let's go to the laundromat first, and then we'll go and beat up some hobos. Because I feel like, I feel like beating up the hobos is going to be something that is going to lock us into something. So we probably want to get the evidence from the laundry place first. Okay. Off we go! Oh. Fuck! I said off we go! Do a ramp! No Perfect! No Where? On the bit. The last body said something written. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Well, yeah, no, not on this one, Rusty, you fucking moron. Shit. I'm having trouble with this car right now. I'm having a little bit of trouble. There are more factors to consider than the message. Cole, don't be a fucking moron. The, the MO is almost completely different except for the cause of death. And strangulation with a rope isn't exactly unique. Jesus Christ. Especially when it's triple braid, which is used by mariners. And assuming it was the hobos, maybe one of them, fuck, maybe one of them worked for the Navy in the war. How about that? Maybe I drive better if you shut the hell up. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's also raining. It probably doesn't help. Yeah, no, that super doesn't help. Jesus Christ. See, this is why if I ever live in L.A., which, you know, someday I might actually hope to, um, I am never going to drive. I'm just going to fucking take a, take a cab. I don't give a fuck. That or just never go outside. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any Tide Pods I could consume? That's, that's, that's do one of those dead memes. Take, yeah, I'll take the bus. Call an Uber. If you give me a minute, I go find register and you can take a look. Like, like for real. Like, if I, I'm gonna be honest. If I didn't live in Florida, I wouldn't even own a car. I would just, I would just take an Uber everywhere. Like, but Uber doesn't exist down here. We don't have buses. We don't have fucking any public transportation in Florida. Uh, who am I looking for again? I'm just gonna just. Ah, wait, wait, hang on. F one three six three. Okay. There you go. This is T. Terrellson, forty three M O Street, Westlake. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, could you, like, I, I honestly, like, I don't understand. Why is Rusty's car here? I honestly don't understand, like, in why in Florida we have zero public transportation. It doesn't make any fucking sense. I want to get a new car. <laughs> I want to get a new car. <laughs> is there one nearby here? The answer is no, but there's one up here. Oh, wait, even better. Is there one near where I actually have to go? Hobo Camp. 43 Emerald Street. No, okay, so we're just gonna go get that new car. I have not. Yep! <laughs> just like John Wayne would have done. Can you drive to this? Rusty! Drive us there and block the streets some more! I don't quite like this car all that much because I blew the shit out of it. Okie doke. Now, where is this new car? It's directly to my right. Zoom, zoom. There it is. I need... Oh, hey! Look at this modern-looking fucking motor car. Sestalia Coupe. This is a, this is a really cool-looking car. It looks very modern, almost. It looks, it looks like it belongs in the 60s. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic type and show a particular disposition for this stuff. Oh good, now we're going into racism. I, I I know it's an Italian car, but it looks like it belongs in the 60s. Like this thing looks like it's like compared to everything else on the road, this thing looks like it's from the fucking future. Like nice curved lines, streamlined, not look like it's not looking like it's made out of fucking Lego bricks. This is a really nice looking car. She'll she'll probably watch the VOD and she'll be confirming slash denying it come the morning. Cause so I think she's gone to bed already. Like in, like I honestly like this car could be in GTA. This car here could be in Grand Theft Auto. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Like, with minor differences. I remember seeing... I, I think I own a car in GTA Online that's very similar to this. I mean, to be fair, they are... She is descended from Vikings, so maybe she does. You never know. Whoop. Whoop. This thing is fucking... This thing is agile. This thing is fucking agile. Just woof. Woof. So, there is something that I did actually learn about this case, is that I, n I want to use the auto drive as, as little as possible, because apparently there's a bug in this mission on the PC version where if you use auto drive- Oh shit! You can miss- you can miss a radio call that, uh, or, yeah, you can miss a radio call or a phone call that, uh, leads you to an, to an area that you need to go to in order to solve the case properly. So I, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to just drive, every, I'm just going to drive, I'm going to try not to use the auto drive. This one isn't blue with a trash mammal on it, nor are there bulletproof windows, so I might be deluding myself. But the thing is, though, I don't paint- I haven't painted all my cars, only the ones I use a lot. There's a lot of cars in GTA that I own that I haven't actually painted, because I just don't fucking use them. It was called the Rolling Sculpture. Well, I mean, compared to all these other shitmobiles going on, I mean, it might as well be a rolling sculpture. 
The rest of these cars are pretty crap. It's pretty dark for 5 p.m. Does it get dark this early in L.A.? Jesus Christ. Open the door! Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come she home. She did, son! Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress. She did. Shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. She did. Come in, Mr. Tarleton. I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. He's gonna have like five, five children. They're all gonna be blonde hair, blue eyes. I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. Oh my God! What are those fucking gremlins? That kid fucking smiling like, yes, mother is dead, exactly as I have planned. This is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that procedure. You have little demons sitting next to you. We need to make sure there's no satanic objects for them to draw power from. Jesus Christ. Who told who told Team Bondi that that's what children look like? Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's that's problem, that's girl? not how children talk. You got nothing to hide. Tell me, children, have you would have you been worshiping the devil? You can tell me. Oh, a yeah, matchbook. Baron's Bar. Matchbooks to the rescue once more. I wonder why the picture was turned down. Probably because they're they they had a fight. That tends to always happen. Oh, purse. It doesn't appear to be connected. But we can skim a little bit of money off the top there, can't we, Phelps? I mean, can't be a Boy Scout all the time. Double dipped can it's just a box of candy. Aha, let's look at these children's pictures. Hmm, yes. That one down at the bottom, that is actually the that is actually the work of the devil. That is the way of the devil. They know the way of the devil. Hey, it's a boat! Is that gonna no? That's not gonna come up? Okay. All right then. Another matchbook. She must go to this place a lot. Someone must be real sweet on She must go to this place a lot. Just like, oh, I gotta get all these matchbooks. I'm going there a bunch. Can you tell me about all the murder happening? Does Daddy beat Mommy? Does Daddy beat Mommy? Does Mommy beat Daddy? Does mommy put on a strange le on a strange leather get up and weird hat? We need to know what she, what you're into. Oh, that's oh no! Oh, that's a bad sign. Unless he fucking went and recovered it. Muddy shoes. Huh. This is a bad. This is bad for him. Size eight. Size eight. Your cars were $700,000, the rusted found in a bar variety. Jesus. Okay, this is... This is a really bad fucking sign for him. Excuse me, sir. I need to ask you about your wife being stomped to death. Where's his phone? Where's your phone, sir? There's your phone. Operator, give me dispatch. Jesus Christ. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. Only a hundred and seventy of them? Can you ah. dress for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. 
Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a proud card also, bring, also bring some policemen here. I'm making some orphans tonight. I'm making some orphans tonight, boys. Excuse me, sir. How do you feel about orphans? For the record, Mr. Charlton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Uh, possible suspects. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. Well, until she, she wasn't. It can't be anyone who knew her. Are you sure? Doubt. No. For the record, Charles, did you kill your wife? Oh my God! This is no. I didn't kill my wife. If that should have been a truth, I shouldn't it? Suggesting it. I mean, I gotta ask. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place. That's right. Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Wow, what a cunt. What a cunt. And? Oh, come the fuck on! Hey guys. Teresa had a few belts too many. Ah! I wanted to go out dancing. This guy is so shifty! This guy is so shifty that even when he's telling the truth, he looks like it's a doubt. Mr. Terrelson was uh. happy at home. Yeah, I think she was. No, she wasn't. Fuck you. Spill it, Terrelson. We like Spill it, motherfucker! So better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. So you chose gambling over your she wife. Okay, she then. Yeah, no wonder she wound up miserable and dead. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. Jesus. Okay, last contact. Last time you saw your wife. Around 8:30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and You were outside last night, fucko. You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? Your boots are covered in mud, you cunt. You were out in the rain. You got soaked. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on Of me. course she was. Teresa noticed. Because you're such a fucking catch. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Charlton. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wet spot. I should have taken her dancing. Yes, you should have. They give in the broad. Rusty, you're not helping. You're not helping, Rusty. Alright, let's go push over some innocent people. Appreciate your time, sir. There's an innocent person. Do you believe this guy's story? No, I don't. Kind of rings true. Hip -hip. F there you go. <laughs> Wait, where's Really? Where did it where did my car go? The f fuck! I drove here, and now it's, and now it's gone. Why? That car was too. That hey, Alan Doris, what's good? That car was too perfect for that world. It was too pure for this world, dude. Looks like we gotta go get another one. I ain't driving Rusty's piece of shit around. Ford H boy, hidden vehicle. Like, I, it should be right here. Instead, there's Rusty's car, and it's marked on the map. That was too beautiful. It was from the. It was from the future. Was, the future. The future took it back. The future took it back. Too, it was too beautiful. All right. Well, let's see what else we can grab. See what else we can we can grab. Smash and grab. And then we gotta go... go to the hobos, I guess. Uh, map. It's to my left. Oh, right... right over there. Okay, then. What is this?
Well, I know. Oh my god, it's a fucking Batmobile! Alright, yeah, no, this is good. Haroldson's residence. What the fuck? Why? Which one is closest? Haroldson residence, Superior Laundry, Baron's Bar. Alright, well. Bring us back to the Taroldsons, Rusty. Na 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 Batman, Batman. Like I do wish there was a way I could like summon the cars or like have them in like a centralized location, so I wouldn't have to go like a billion miles out of my way just to grab them. But still, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying picking them up, seeing what we can get, just opening these fucking things up. Whoa! I got fucking teleported. Okay. There's gotta be something here I missed. There's gotta be something here I missed. Otherwise it would've... Uh, otherwise it would've closed itself down, wouldn't it? Would've, like, crossed itself off. No, it's a different Batmobile, though! Wait. Hold up. No? Is there something here I missed? Excuse me, girls. Tell me about your mother and how she was an alcoholic. I get... All right. Well, I don't know what I missed. I can't find it. Oh well. I mean, normally, if you if you if you complete an area, it gets crossed off. Chat. Yes. Like summoning a Caragor, except it's a car. Exactly. Baron's bar. Da Batman. Batman. Quick, Rusty. To the Phelps cave. Oh, okay. Like, like it looks like a fucking Batmobile as well. Hey, come on. No, fuck you. I'm having fun. All right, Baron's Bar. What are we gonna find in here? Is it gonna be that fucking temp asshole again? No. My partner will have your finest whiskey. I need answers, though. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. Really? We have a few questions. Uh, tell me about the victim. did Teresa leave? Around, uh, 10.30, I think. You know what? Fuck it. Ask the community. Ask the community. They say he's telling the truth. Okay. On foot, in a car, by bus. How was it? She called for a cab. Uh, I, Brutal Light, I think that's stupid and embarrassing and a disgrace to history. Gender bending historical figures is really, really dumb unless you're doing it to all of them. And even then, it's still kind of dumb, because historically, Emperor Nero would not have worked as a woman, because he would have been... Oh, would have been... Oh, would have not been fun. Would have not been fun for a female Nero, especially in, uh, in the time period and the culture he was in. Okay, what about the vagrant? Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over. Promising to. Okay, sounds. Good. Why didn't you just bring? Give me that to start with. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor. Oh no! It's a it's a marine. USS Indiana. 
the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red. All right, Rusty, get your gun. What about the yellow cow? Where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. Doubt. She was murdered, Benny. Brutally murdered. Fuck. If you like this lady, you should give us something. You telling me I'm not cooperating? Yes, you're not cooperating. I'll burn your fucking bar down. Thank you for your help, Mr. Fluff. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. I'll burn this bar down. This is Bates. What the fuck is wrong with his face? LAPD. He looks like he's doing like. Turn Oda Nobonga into a wound as well. They also gave her glowing red eyes. So like, is there a reason for it, or did they just want to, or did they just want to make add more titties to the game? Also, I don't know what. Whoa, what? I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. Wait, what? How? How did I get in this car? Jesus fuck! How did I get in this car? And I probably just lost my fucking Batmobile. Back in the bar where he met the bicket. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticking this for routine. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. I think that might have been the joke the they were going for, man. Spit him out. Or you could shoot him. Keep it stabbing. Ah, fuck. Okay, all right. Come on, Phelps, you're letting this lust get away from you. Jesus Christ. I'm showing you how it's done. Shut the fuck up, Rusty. Maybe you shouldn't have waited for me, Phelps. Shut up, Rusty. Arrgh! Oh god damn it! Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road. Oh god, this fucking car. This fucking car. Arrgh! Damn it. Like, the rubber banding in this game is really fucking like the like the second I think I've got the whoa all right, all right, you got me. that he should be dead. Uh, but yeah. So in Fates, like what? Like I don't understand en enough about the context. Like what is Fates about, and why do they gender bend them? Okay, baby. Because like in a historical context, it wouldn't make any fucking sense. I have a in a, like a fantasy context, and maybe blah, blah. why is that guy's lip so fucking big? Last night you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead, and your face is all messed up. Oh yeah. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay. Your mouth is. Are we finished? You look like you got stung by a billion fucking bees, dude. Oh, so basically, it's just the Japanese don't know history, and they're making up the way they do it, the way they on the way. All right then. Do you want my partner to sap you? Jesus, fuck, you Rusty! You just had that ready. Drunk. You just had that fucking ready, didn't you, Rusty? Jesus. Uh, I will admit, history is is uh, is missing quite a few titties. There's not that many women that do a lot of stuff in history, just because, just because women. Women haven't been really able on a large scale in majority of cultures to make a splash up until like maybe like 200 years ago. I will say that. Actually 300. 300 I'd say is probably like the, the starting point for women making a really bigger splash in history than before. But anything before that then there's zero chance. When you hit 1700 it starts going up to like maybe 5. Then you're like up until now we've just been slowly exponentially reaching higher and higher. So what happened Tell me about movements, you fucko. Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. Fuck off. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. All right, kill him. I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice private chat. I'll explain my theory. Oh, they were selling in a rogue. All right, then that makes sense. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Selling in a rogue based on history just fucking make all the males female. There you go. Now you've made your hate game.
We've lost the Vatmobile. Well, it looks like we're getting another car. I missed a lovely Finbar scene. I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it. He just tried to threaten, threaten to beat the guy up. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Were there any incidents no, the one after that. in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thank you. Check the log. I don't... Once a, once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Yeah, what about it? I don't... I don't get it. What's that have to do with anything? <sighs> so, they're gonna get me on the radio, so I imagine I have to stick with Rusty's car. I'm, I have to have Rusty's car. Otherwise, the radio doesn't work. We ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to... That's unfortunate. Oh, fuck, that was immediate. Alright, let's go fucking kill this cab driver then. Out of my way, fucko, you got a cab driver to kill. Fucking, I'm just gonna blast him. Blast him with my gun. And my justice gun. Alright, it's probably a good thing I grab Rusty's car then. Where's that cab got you now? Okay. I just gotta I just gotta follow this 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 yellow running man. We can hopefully knock this shit down. Don't cut me off, you cunt. Fuck you. Out of my way. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? I thought I was responding to a fucking... I thought I was responding to a fucking cab. What's the fuck? The leads to the rear of the building, sir. Someone's gonna have to climb up and take him down. Good luck. Don't let him get a beat on you like I did. All right. Well, first we should probably hang on a minute. Hang on a second. I gotta. I gotta get a. Hmm. 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 Yes. Hi, right, Rusty, I'm borrowing your Tommy gun that you have inexplicably. What is cover? This is cover. How do I... Oh, I gotta go up here. Okay. Rat-a-tat-tat! That's the sound of my gat! It's a good thing... It's a good thing they just let you have... You, they, just, they just let you have it. Like, these guys just have fucking pistols. And I'm rolling in with a fucking Tommy gun with a... With a fucking... You like killing cops? Come on, fucker! Oh, jeez, this guy's just got fucking pistols, and I'm just like, nah, Tommy gun, fuck you. I don't know what, I don't know how it happened, dude. I've never played Fate, and I have zero intention to. Uh, 
Alright, but where- okay, but where is my- where is my fucking t cab? Yellow cab trace. What? Wait, that- wait, the cab was the yellow flag? What? What? Oh, I was going the wrong way then, all this time. I thought the yellow running man was... God damn it. Fuck! Okay. I'm never playing Fate, it's never happening. I should stop trying to look at the chat while it's going on. I'm never playing it, it's not happening. La da la da 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 da. Oh god, alright, where where is this fucking cab? Where is Jesus, no, you're fine. We're fine. I don't wanna play fate though. It sounds lame. Like everything you've said about it, it sounds like it's something I will hate. That would be all. Alright, where's the cab? Where's the where's the cab? Wh where is the cab? Like, seriously, like, everything you've said about fate, it sounds like just something I would hate. All the screenshots you've posted, it looks like something I would hate. It's like... Oh, God, if you make if you make me do that, like, you're not gonna get a fun video. You're gonna get something of me just hating it. I where is where is this cab? I I don't I don't I don't get it. Like did I did I fuck it up? Did I did I did I goof? Hey. Alright, well I guess I'll come back to it later then. Guess I'll come back to it later. Go to the police station. You put one up in uh, in gate posting. You put up a fucking uh, a fucking a couple of them in gate posting, and like it, from a couple different games, and each one just does nothing. Looks like a generic ass visual novel with knockoff historical characters. All right. Well, let's do. That. I guess we we'll just have to save the cab for later. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Oh boy, isn't that fun? All right. So is he in room one? I mean, the door's open, so I assume. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Helps in Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? <laughs> I didn't kill anyone. Oh. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. You went to Baron's Bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. Couple of drinks then, eh? Shifty motherfucker. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. You caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. Alright, uh, what about with Bates? You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. 
You should take a look at him for this. We did. Fucking his face looks like he got hit with bees. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jesse. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with She's you. dead, fucko. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. She's also probably wearing a I'm wedding ring. Can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. I feel like everything you guys have said about fate, it's just, it's like... Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. Like, like everything you say, like, it's just like, oh, there's these, there's these knockoff historical, there's these knockoff historical characters, and they have adventures? Question mark. And it's a visual novel. I, I don't. I'm gonna admit, I don't, I don't get the fascination. I don't understand it. Where we headed? Like that's that's really all it comes down to. And then there was like that anime. It had the fucking like hour and a half long first episode that I fell asleep. Still no hard evidence on any of I uh Maybe, maybe at some point I'll play one, but like I said, it, it would have to be a it would have to be a patron request. That's all it comes down to, and also I'd need space in the fucking schedule to do it. Hey, hobos! LAPD. Rusty just has a fucking shotgun. Wow. Jesus Christ, Rusty! Jesus Christ! I mean, Rusty, I get it, they're fucking commie hobos. Doesn't mean you gotta fucking just blast them. Where is the shotgun now? Where did- where- did you lose it? Did you lose it? Rusty Jesus. What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. And yeah, no, they're 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 communist hobos, the worst kind. We're taking you downtown. The worst kind of hobos. Anything more to me than what the Japanese have already I could shoot you in the head. Japanese haven't done that to you yet. No, I'm against I'm against shooting them when we need them alive to do you know when we need when we need them alive in order to process a crime. Gotta get a confession out of them and then we can shoot them. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the lighthouse club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Hey! Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. Hey, Sheldon, how you doing? Well, I'm sure you two oh, fucking is Kelso! Shit! Stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. What are they, what are they doing? What are you guys doing? Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help. You guys in some deep yeah. shit? I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Selling, selling, ha selling fucking morphine. Jobs. Yep. We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen. Because you're fucking muscling in on this fucking drug so dealing turf, you fucking what's moron. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them that they would dole it out slowly. 
They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors, but they've been moving it on to addicts. And they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. Wow, amazing, Courtney, you fucking moron. And if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. No, you'll end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. Does he want him to shoot him? We want you to negotiate, Jack. Oh my god. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. You have to shoot them, Sheldon. You have to do it. Kill them all. Be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. What? Wouldn't cost a cent. I'd say, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Jesus Christ, what kind of what kind of shit is it? What mm. the hell, dude? Fucking, dude, we're getting fucking, fucking. This, this morphine subplot's getting rough. Oh, All right, what do we got? This is flamethrower boy. Hey, it's a purse. Betty, bet, uh, bet this isn't his. Ackerman doesn't look like much of a dancer. So yeah, so he probably he, he's he's at least he at least robbed the body. Probably up oh, and yep, no. That's a bit of murder going on there. Safe better to match the mark under Teresa Terrelson's chin. Yep, that'll do it. That'll fucking do it. Isn't that the cop who caught the guy? Yes, Mr. Hobo. Now uh, get out of here before I'm forced to fucking shoot you all. All right, so I guess we got to go back to fucking Central. You're behind the wheel. Uh, why is the Tarleton residence still a thing? Like, oh, jeez. Yellow cab. Fuck, we don't even need to bother with the fucking cab anymore. Grand Order is... Oh, that's the fucking mobile game you were talking, right? The husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessica's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be... Pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. So let's just put. It's just. History, opportunity, hard evidence. Yeah. What motive? Um, he's poor and needs money. He's poor and poor people need money. Alright, later, Honda. Have a good night, my dude. He's he's homeless. He's poor. He needs money. What more motive do you need? <laughs> Like, for real. You, you you don't. Like you saw a drunk he saw a drunk woman walking around. He saw a drunk woman walking around and went I could probably do something with that. So he had some rope in his pocket. He's a former military some and and we know that the military in this game use triple braided rope, so he has some triple braided rope. Grabbed her, went Hunk! snapped like fucking choked her out, beat the shit out of her and then, and and then, uh, fucking took her money and left her, and then, and, and left her there. I don't know how the car, how the tr tire tracks got there. Maybe they're unrelated. And they're they're a red herring, but what are we waiting? I mean, he for? has he has. Oh wait, he's not in this one. He has he has fucking damn near everything. He has damn near everything. He has means. He has means. He has opportunity. He has he has uh. What I would say, motivation. Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? One well, that was trying to no fucking win a war. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? 
Uh, what's your motive, fucko? Kill Mrs. Terrelson. I have no recollection of the people I have killed. You hate women, Ackerman. More than you could ever imagine. How much did you hate Mrs. Terrelson? I ache to put my seed in them. Afterwards, I have no use for them. Oh, so you're a rapist as well. So, yeah, no, I'm... I'm putting this guy away. This guy, like everyone else, their their ability to their their fucking reasons for for killing Miss Tarleton, that they're fucking tangential at best. Like you've got like neglect. You have like one guy who's just a he's just a fake fucking he's just a he's just a deviant. Whatever, whatever. Fucking he's on parole. Like he's got no reason to kill her. Uh, you've got uh fucking you got. You got the Marine, I don't think he really has a reason to do it. Which leaves us with this guy. This guy is poor, he needs money. He has he has the murder weapon, he has her purse. At, boy? I mean and also he's a crazy person, so I mean a bus driver drives. Let's let's just Carlton throw him in the gas chamber, call it a day. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed men. I mean, regardless, this guy needs to get off the fucking streets. So Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa. Terrell oh, good. It's not even a choice. It's just a thing that happens. Excellent. A man down on his luck I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society I can't. Exactly. Goddamn commies. Someone will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief. And That's a real. Send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought. A very 1940s to solution. My finest crusaders. Deus vult. We will retake Los Angeles. Deus vult. Ah, uh, clues found. I'm missing. I'm missing a bunch of fucking clues. Jesus Christ. I don't know, like, just, every, everything I hear about fate, like, it's, like, in the, it's either the anime or the visual novel, and it's just, like, <sighs> I, like, I don't, I don't get it, is the problem. Hey, look at Phelps making friends. Like, I'm not mad or anything. Ah, look at Phelps, cheating on his wife. Like a true 1940s gentleman. Walks close to her, you hear the piano. Ding dong. Excuse me, ma'am, I have to look for clues under your skirt. The studio secretary matter! This one isn't very catchy. She, another drunk woman. Another drunk woman walking along where she probably should not be. And a guy with a tire iron. Amazing. Ding dong. We will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. No. Oh. This is 348 South Main Street. So, looks like Muller might have been... Oh no, looks like we might have done a goof. 
It's like we might have done a goof. Oh no! That's not a goof for me. Have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. Forty-year-old white woman. But it's not related to Muller, though, right? Right? All right. Well, regardless, regardless, everybody, that's that's it for 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 today. Uh, I'm gonna just up. I'm gonna upload this to uh to to the vault YouTube whatever. Oh boy, I'm hungry. I need some food. Um, so thank you everybody for coming out. Uh, what's on with these trappers? I would play around this. I mean, I, I, I guess I don't know. I, I, all, all I know about phases. There's that hour-long anime, and I just, oh god, I, I, I actually fell asleep. And everybody, as always, thank you all for coming out. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share on social media. If you want to help me keep the lights on, then you can always donate on Patreon or subscribe on Twitch or support me on Tad, which is a money-free alternative. Uh, link down in the YouTube description. Uh, as always, I am Nozovix. I will see you in the next video. But most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today. And I will see you a round of...